One of my all-time favorite weapons that we make here at the shop is our Viking axes. And here, I have a fine example. This is one of our bearded style of Viking axes. And as you can see, the side has been adorned with chisel marks. Uh, I'm actually the guy who puts these in here at the shop. I use a chisel in our fly press, and it's not an easy job. As you can see, both sides of this weapon have patterning on it. You have to be careful not to put it directly over top of the lines you laid out the first time, otherwise the design can become damaged. So it's not the easiest thing to do. But as you can see, this axe is a fighting style blade, has a very narrow edge for cutting. We make these as close to like what an original would be as possible, um, obviously using modern materials. However, they're not far off from their ancestors. You can see we also place a pin at the top of the head. That prevents this from flying off or coming loose. Now we do use a wedge in these to help keep the wood tight in the socket of the ax. However, if we ship this to a client somewhere in say New Mexico or Arizona where it's very dry, the wood could contract a little bit and it might become loose. If that happens, all they need to do is just give this a light little tap and it's gonna tighten it right back up. These are super cool. They're not gonna break the bank. They're very affordable and they are just awesome. They are one of my favorite things here and I love them. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or click the video to see more things we make here at Baltimore Knife and Sword.